Hey everyone, my name is Bami, founder of Inspired to Soul Limited. My passion is to give you and your loved ones the tools to thrive in the aftermath of cancer diagnosis. Whether you're the patient or you're a loved one, I believe that while survival is a laudable achievement, it's not meant to be your destination. It's just a bus stop on a long journey. I believe that you can thrive, you can find fulfillment, you can live life to the full. And it will be my privilege and my honor to give you the tools to do that. So this month, I started this month talking about being audacious, what being audacious means. To me, being audacious means doing something really that you are frightened of and still pushing through in spite of the fear. So today I want to talk to you about vulnerability. Because one of the things I've come to realize is that vulnerability is part of being audacious. In fact, it is a, an essential part of audacity. And today I'm just going to share something from my own personal experience. If you've read my profile or anything like that, you know that I've said that I've had a 30 year acquaintance with this rogue called cancer. I'll share more about that in another video. but. For today, I just wanted to share something vulnerable about me. Because of the breast cancer medication and because of multiple surgeries I've had, I'm fully menopausal, so that means I'm sweating all the time. And do you know the interesting thing? When I was thinking of shooting, the, recording this video, I thought, oh my goodness, I'm sweating, my face is shiny. So the very first video that I recorded, I looked at it and I thought, I stopped it because I thought it wasn't good enough and everything like that but do you know the interesting thing when i now watch it back it was it was actually good enough and everything so even though i am sweating my face is shiny and everything like that i'm coming to you just the way i am because this is part of my thriving new normal and in because it's summer i get really really hot my face is shiny you can see it now and everything like that it doesn't matter how much how many fans I turn on myself, this is still the case. But this is part of the journey. This is part of my journey. And I want to encourage you that wherever you are in your post-cancer journey, regardless of whether you're the patient or the loved one, I want you to be comfortable with the parts that are not perfect, the parts that are not going the, the exact way that you want it to because somebody might be encouraged, might be strengthened by you showing up with your vulnerabilities in an authentic manner. So that's what I wanted to leave you with today, that no matter where you are on this post-cancer journey, own your, own your story, own your journey, and remember, progress is what matters, not perfection. So progress is the aim, not perfection. So be all of who you are at this time. Until the next time, take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.